So this is serious now. You're a serious creator and your budget for your creator PC is roughly around $4,000 and above. And you just want to get the best PC possible for that money. And really at that point, we feel quite flexible in the budget here for getting just absolutely the best things. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly which PC to build and how to get the best performance that you can get for your budget and some of the upgrade options. So if you're ready for that, you're ready for this sponsor segment as well. Skytech Gaming makes the PC building easy. In fact, we're giving away one for free. Choose a pre-built system or configure it to your needs. A PC solution to fit any of your budgets. Skytech Gaming prides itself with excellent customer service and an amazing community of people. Check out their weekly PC giveaways down below. One of my favorite mid-range PCs for creators is one called Shiva. With i5, 12600K, RTX 3060 Ti, Z690 motherboard and DDR5 memory. It's not just powerful, but also affordable. Another noteworthy PC is Cronus, which received It's Better Than Dell by Steve from Gamers Nexus. After Steve's review, that Cronus became the most sold system on their website. By the way, Skytech Gaming is about to launch their creator line of PCs called Skytech Pro. So learn more about that in the description below, as well as the Shiva and Cronus PCs. Thanks Skytech Gaming for sponsoring this video. Five very quick things. Number one, the budget. If your budget is less than what we're talking about in this video, then check out the previous videos in this video series because you can easily just manage and configure this PC to your budget in the earlier video. And also there's going to be one extra video that's coming out, a little bit of a surprise in the end of the video. We're going to talk about that later. If you're wondering how to build it, then there's going to be build guides in the description below. Thirdly, if you do want to know how to configure all the software, drivers, firmware, everything like that, then there's going to be a guide in the description below as well. Fans and how to get it as quiet as possible, how to stress test it, everything in the description below. So you can just pick the parts, fit it to your budget and then build it. Everything is here for you. Number four, where to buy it. You can buy the things in the description below because everything I'm talking about, I'm going to leave there as well as some alternatives. And uh, if it's not in stock, you know, check out the different stores because if you click on any of my product links that are in the description below, it gives you an option or should give you an option really of, you know, where do you want to buy it? And that basically just gives you an option to check the price of the same product because it's linked. It's found the same product in all these different stores and you can just find the best price in any of these stores if you don't mind where you're gonna buy this from perhaps you might have a favorite store then go with your favorite store but if you want just the best price check out all of those links to get the best price for you because one shop might have it cheaper than what you were gonna get and the surprise thing then well we're gonna talk about that in the end of the video but if you want to you know get a sneak peek if you don't know already you can find it in the description below there's gonna be some you know surprise over there but stick till the end of the video to get that surprise. Another question you might have is what about Ryzen 7000 series and 13th gen of Intel? Will they be a better, you know, buy for my budget? Perhaps and perhaps not. Depends if you value stability and actually price to performance kind of ratio. What I mean by that is that new generation of CPUs, GPUs, there's always issues with like drivers or stability and early adapters issues. And if you're earning money as a creator, I don't think it's worth jumping the ship to the new generation straight away. Wait a few months and then we're gonna re, you know, consider the actual options there. And then I'm going to give you a different buying guide. And if you're watching this in 2023, early 23, then there's going to be a new guide coming out in January, February in 2023. We're going to be considering Ryzen 7000, Intel's 13th gen there. But right now you're going to get the best value for this Intel's 12th gen. And even if the new generation is going to come out still in 2022, the prices will be dropping and you're going to get this PC for even better price so that's why this is going to be the best bang for your buck now let's talk about the parts so if your budget is four thousand dollars then here's what i would recommend asus z690 creator wi-fi motherboard this is like the best motherboard you can get really you 
can get the Gigabyte Aero DZ690 as well if you want and if you want to go with like the white theme but this Asus one is slightly better as well in terms of some of the features it has a little bit more I don't have time to go in detail about the motherboard so feel free to check the individual videos about the motherboard out on the channel if you're not sure or you want to consider if it's worth getting this extra that's going to cost you roughly around $450 for the CPU we're going to go with the best that Intel offers right now which is the i9 12900k S, the S in the end, because that's a little bit extra. And that's gonna give us extra five to 8% extra performance compared to the 12900K that we had on previous budgets. And for this budget here now, we're gonna squeeze every piece of performance out as much as we can for this. And that's why we're gonna go with this one. For the cooler, we're still gonna use the Deepcool LS720, which is a 360 millimeter radiator. And it's a very good cooler. And it really, you're not gonna get much better cooling with whatever cooling you're gonna get for this i9 12900KS. You probably have to go custom cooling, but for creators, I don't think this is worth it. It's just a big faff and big serviceable thing. It's more of a hobby really than actually a practical thing. For the SSDs, for the OS, is gonna live on the Team Group Cadia Z440 drive, one terabyte drive. I think that's enough. You can upgrade it if you want to, but all the programs in OS have plenty of space there to live on there, plus extra documents and whatever you want. That's gonna cost us $100. SSD number two, this crucial p3 2 terabyte drive this is gen 4 drive a little bit of a slower drive often you don't actually need that kind of performance for that but this is two terabytes in size and that's where the projects are going to live on or one of the projects are going to live on this is 165 dollars for the second project drive we're going to use silicon power us 72 terabyte drive as well so we have kind of four terabytes all together as project drives two plus two but the silicon power us 70 has a very high terabytes written spec so if you're writing big files on the ssd you don't need to worry about damaging or like shortening the longevity 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 the endurance of the ssd you can rewrite pretty much all of the drive every single day for the um, next five years of this us 70 drive from silicon power and it's still going to be completely fine within its spec we're also going to be adding a fourth m.2 nvme here because we do have four slots on the motherboard they're all gen 4 speeds and we're going to be using western digital sn 770 and this is 500 gigabyte drive and this is a cache drive it's still very very fast but it doesn't need to be like really big because all the temporary files or depending which creator you are just use this for your temporary files and cache files and what programs can use to store it in there so we're going to get a little bit more performance or the best kind of smoothest performance out there for ram we're going to be using 64 gigabytes of ddr5 from corsair this is corsair Ven vengeance and it's running at 5200 mega transfers a second that's going to cost us three dollars for gpu i'd recommend the msi rtx 3090 ti supreme x so we're going to go with 3090 ti now and yes there is an actual little bit of a performance boost that we can get from this so if you are like in 3d for example then that's worth it for like really photo um 2d and even video editing it's not really worth it but really if you're doing like 3d or if you really want a little bit of a performance boost perhaps in video effects or color grading then we do get a little bit there and that's going to cost us 1299 dollars that's quite a lot cheaper than the msrp of this gpu for the power supply we're going to be using be quiet dark power pro 12 1000 watt a power supply and this is enough to power all of our components but also is 80 plus titanium rated power supply so this is the highest power efficiency you can get and because all of our components are very power hungry if used in full-on you know utilization this power supply allows us to not be inefficient and just draw extra power from the wall that we're going to pay for but we really not you know get any performance for that's why we want efficiency power efficiency power supply it's got like over 10 year warranty as well very high quality modular everything you need from power supply 
Like that's really, really good power supply. The case I'd recommend is Corsair 5000D. Bear in mind, just get any case you really like. Bear in mind that you can fit all the components inside, but this is, I think, very nice, slick case, um, but feel free to go with any of the Fantex cases or Be Quiet cases, or just find the case you like, okay? There's, there's plenty out there. But this 5000D, we're gonna be also specking out with some of the fans from Arctic, Arctic P12. A RGB fans, 120 millimeters, zero dB, and there's a three pack. We're gonna get actually three of them now. So three three packs because we have extra space for 5000D. So we can put some of them on the side and in the front and in the back, or even run the actual um, AIO and push pull configuration. If you wanna kind of um, switch the fans out and use the AIO fans as some of the like case fans, basically getting better cooling for our case and better performance for our case there. So the Arctic fans are gonna cost roughly around 149 or 150 dollars uh, and you don't need them necessarily and you know you can upgrade them or get two of them because for two you can still get a lot of airflow inside the case and then push push it out in there as well and then use the included fans there as well but basically this helps us to have all the fans the same make same noise and so on so it's a little bit easier to configure and so on and you might also need some fan hopes so i've added extra uh, optional fan hopes here from deep cool this is the deep cool fh 10 fan hopes they cost around 15 dollars each and that just helps you to sort the fans because you've got a lot of fans now nine fans in the system or perhaps even more because you don't have that many headers on the motherboard you need to link them together but those arctic fans can be daisy chained together as well which is going to be very good feature for you and if you go with this pc that's going to cost you three thousand nine hundred and eighty one dollars and 49 cents at the time of making this video highly recommend check out the latest pricing in the description below through those affiliate links thanks very much if you do so and this is going to be ridiculously good pc for you and it's very hard to beat in any shape or form and fantastic at video editing photo editing 2d um, music anything you throw at it Perhaps the only downside for this is really 3D CPU rendering. If you want to do CPU 3D rendering, then perhaps this is not the best CPU. If you're doing 3D, just do the rendering on the GPU, because I think most of the 3D applications allow you to actually render the scene on the GPU as well, but actually work the scenes with your CPU performance. So that's why I think this is the best. But now the upgrade. If you do have even more budget to spend, what would you upgrade and is there anything we can upgrade? Okay, so here's the thing. A few things that we can upgrade over here is the RAM. We'd get double the amount of this RAM, this Corsair Vengeance 64 gigabytes, and now you're gonna get 128 gigabytes of DDR5. That's absolutely fantastic. And I think as a video editor, this truly is like worth upgrading, perhaps even more of first than RTX 3090 Ti. Get the extra 64 gigabytes of RAM rather than the 3090 Ti because you might need more than 64 gigabytes of RAM. Another thing we can upgrade uh, here is the actual cooling for the RTX 3090 Ti. You can get the ASUS ROG Strix uh, liquid cooled RTX 3090 Ti. That's going to cost us around $1,500. And then our GPU is going to be much, much cooler and we can you know, mount it on the top of our case and it's just going to make this like PC a little bit quieter check it out it's still very very good price compared to what you pay for this and then be quiet dark rock pro 12 1200 power supply we're going to be using for this because we have a little bit more components and things and future upgradability that 1200 one you're going to be a bit of a more in a better spot to get the better power efficiency so you're going to save a little bit more there as well but it is very very expensive but most likely going to last you a long time as well and another thing we'd upgrade here is the fans if you do have some uh, money to spend on fans uh, i would upgrade all of the fans in the case to uh, noctua nfa 12 x 25 chromax black fans which are one one of the best fans you can get out there now quite pricey as well very premium fans but they're going to be very quiet shift a lot of air through and change all of the fans inside there now they're not rgb if you're looking for rgb perhaps go with some other make that have but usually the best fans really out there aren't rgb you can get rgb if you do want rgb go with the arctic fans because they're the best ones there and then the fan hub there costs extra 30 dollars as well so definitely use that one as well if you get the noctua fans because noctua fans can't be daisy 
chained together you definitely need them so that's going to be 842 dollars extra and altogether 5269 dollars if you want to get that that's just a beast 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 of a machine now not perhaps the best bang for your buck still like the best for your money if you go with that type of budget now i didn't mention to you that i actually recommended uh, upgrading the uh, project drives as well to seagate fire cuda 532 terabyte or four terabyte drives because i've got them in the budget here for five thousand two hundred and sixty nine dollars that i just mentioned but basically this allows you to have very high quality ssds that have a uh, right centric drives as well so if you write on them large files, you can rewrite the capacity of the drive, 70% of the capacity every single day, and you're going to be completely fine. So if you want to upgrade that, these are like probably one of the best drives you can get and super fast speeds as well, up to 7,000 megabytes per second speeds. A little bit of an upgrade from previous one, as well as the cache drive, you can upgrade to one terabyte Carrier Z440 that we had as the OS drive, just a little bit more capacity and fastness of the there. And that is your PC. Now, bear in mind, you don't have to do all of these upgrades, but if you do ask me like, what can I upgrade? You know, I've got loads of budget to spend as a company or something like that. These are the things I would get to get the best performance out there. And now the surprise thing. The surprise is that there's gonna be a PC giveaway. This is the fourth video in the video series and we're gonna be building a PC live. There's gonna be giveaway details in the description below to celebrate 100K on the channel. It's gonna be a killer PC, much better than my PC. So we're gonna be doing that or building that very, very soon. I'm hoping by the time you're watching this video, everything has already arrived and we can start this live stream and do this. But if you do wanna receive the PC, there's gonna be details in the description below oh and excitingly i have some last minute developments in fact we're actually giving away two pcs one in the uk and one in the us so definitely check out the details in the description below so check out the links in the description below for more information about the products guides and giveaway it's all down there thanks guys for watching likes and subs and i'll see you soon bye bye